All right, there we go. Okay, my makeshift washing line, don't worry. This isn't a video about my uh, laundry habits, <laughs> or lack thereof. This is all about ticks and Lyme's disease. And I don't know if you remember, last year I picked up and, and got Lyme disease. It was round about just after I came back from Sky. So if you remember the videos when I was on Sky, I went up the Coolin and went to the oh, fantastic beach. I had a fantastic time, but during that holiday, I started to feel really unwell. I'm not going to the symptoms because they were slightly different, but yeah, I'll link to the videos here about the Lyme's disease and the symptoms and what have you if you're interested. Anyway, when I came back or, and, and became a bit better after suffering the Lyme's disease, I did, a bit, I did a bit of reading and I started to use... I obviously, obviously used the skin applicants that you can use like DEET and Smidge, but I also looked into something called permethrin, and it's an insecticide that you can put on your clothes, and I put that on last year, and, and since I've used that, I've not had one tick on me, and I was getting lots of ticks, not just from hill walking, but when I was out with a dog and what have you. So from my experience so far, this permethrin seems to have worked, and it's done a pretty good job, along with other things I've obviously I try to cover up more and I do use the, the insect repellents on my skin but this video is going to be more about how I treat my clothes it's about that time of year, it's the start of the season, obviously it's a bit later now I would have done this earlier but given the current circumstances uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it now because hopefully in a couple of months time we might get back out and I thought it might be a useful video for you, you guys as well so what is per permethrin? Well it's a type of insecticide and it kills ticks and insects when they land on clothing which is treated with it uh, which is yeah which is quite good yeah, that's the sort of thing you want and what I'm going to be treating today is I've, I've also got my trousers and my jacket I've got my gaiters here as well I'm going to treat my shoes socks I've got my tent up which I've actually just waterproofed I was doing a bit of sealing on that today so I'm going to let that dry and then add some permethrin treatment to that but any, anything that you can use outdoors, you can treat with permethrin. I'm going to treat my rucksacks, I think I said socks, my waterproofs. I've got a wee buff that I wear around my wrist actually and I usually soak that in permethrin um, just because of anything that's in your hands and moves up. It, uh, it can be quite bad. So anyway, what am I using? Uh, in the UK this is just called Life Systems. I think that's the easiest one for me to get. I just ordered it off uh, Amazon and it's a, it's a spray for insect control and they suggest that you, you, you one bottle will treat around three and a half meters of fabric and you want to use it by holding the bottle 40 centimeters away and spraying evenly to the fabric so I'm just going to get on with that and do that just now so yeah I've got this on so I'm just giving it an even spray here down like so and what I tend to do is I give it a bit more round about the, the cuffs and the extremities of the equipment with the ticks are more likely to get up. I tend to uh, add a wee bit more there because that's the likely part where they're going to come on and affect you. Oof. Right, so that's my trousers and my jacket done. And a few other things I'm going to do. I'm going to do my backpack and round the, the boots and round the cuffs of the booth so we'll get on with that and then I'll get on to the tent another thing that I was going to I talked about earlier on just a wee while ago is these buffs are great and I tend to now when I go out walking I'll put a couple of these round my, my wrist and these will be treated with permethrin so if any beasties get into my hand and start walking up hopefully when they get to this point they won't like it too much and uh, drop off so I'm going to treat these as well and then I'll get up into the uh, the tent and do that as well. So a bit more spraying. Right now I've done the. Uh, the clothing, I'm just leaving that to dry. Probably leave it outside for a couple of hours. I'm just going to move on to the tent here. It's just waterproofed and sealed. It's dried now, so I'll bring that back. 
Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not, I don't want to use up, this stuff isn't, uh, isn't superly cheap. Um, so I'm not going to use it on the outside of the tent, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it around the inner part of the tent and round the bits where the bugs might get in. Hopefully that'll keep them at bay. And what, I'm also, what I've also done, I'm doing this outside, uh, this insecticide, permethrin, really low doses in this, in fact, this is at, I think it's 0.5% of permethrin. Can't find it, where is it? It does tell you somewhere. And it's a really low dosage in the liquid form. You can get other types of permethrin for dog treatment and other sorts of things which are a higher concentration and they can be toxic to cats. This stuff, once it dries, shouldn't be, but I'm not taking any risks. So I've locked the cats, I've got two cats, I've locked them inside and I'm going to treat this. And once it's dried on, it's fine and it won't affect them. So that's just something to bear in mind. Don't, uh, don't put this into a can or use it in a confined space, especially if you've got cats and what have you. Uh, as I said, it's only a low dosage of permethrin. And I think it's actually, if you, if you look at it in comparison to films, things like DEET, which you're putting on your skin, it's relatively safe. So anyway, enough talking. Let's get this on the, on the tent, even coat. Right. I think that's me just about done. That's the tent done. So yeah, I'm going to, uh, it's just a short video, hopefully you found it quite useful. I'm going to go and treat the rest of my clothing now, I'm not subject to that. But yeah, just bear in mind, this is just one of the, a few ways you can help prevent those nasty little beasties getting in. You. you really don't want to get Lyme's disease. I was lucky that I caught it early. As I said, check out the videos to, to, to find out what happened last year if you didn't already see them. But yeah, it's not something you want to, want to pick up, so yeah, I can highly recommend this stuff. Um, I'll put a link, an affiliate link down in the, the description if you fancy. Go and get it off, um, it was Amazon I got it from. I think you can get, you can get other, there's other brands and there's other methods as well. You can use a soaking method as well, but I've not done that so I'm not going to video it. I just use the spray on method, so yeah. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there and join me on Wednesday for another outdoor vlog from the past. Right. Let me get the rest of this done. <sighs> ah.